Good morning, Sherry. It is Monday. First things first. Go Pack Go! You won the Super Bowl! Yay! I'm so excited. Normally I don't care about watching football because it's the Packers, though. I mean, I'm just super duper excited. Also, is poop funny? I believe that poop is actually kind of funny. But not if it's like real physical poop. Because that's just kind of disgusting. But if it's the word poop, or if it's like written out, poop, that's pretty funny. So yes, poop is funny. I went to Pep Band on Friday, and that was super duper amazing. And I accidentally... Anyways, long story short, I bruised my knuckles because I accidentally punched the ceiling. Because I was so excited! And then, yeah, ceiling. Okay. We are officially moved into our new place. This, this isn't the new place yet. Um, we're getting all of this stuff into the new place tonight. I won't be helping because I am going to be helping out with <clears throat> the lights for the school musical. They're doing the wedding singer, and I guess their current lights person kind of sucks, and it's really hard to screw up the lights, so I'm going to go help out with that at 6 tonight, so I'm sorry if this video sucks. Oh, dang it. Okay. Sherry goes to VidCon Fund. I really hope you go to VidCon, and happy birthday! I don't think I actually told you. Well, I did tell you that on Facebook, but not, like, to your face. So, happy 18th birthday, Sherry. And now you got to go to VidCon, and that should be super duper awesome, and you can hopefully meet all of our wonderful heroes and crushes. Which reminds me of uh, Zuko, by the way. You mentioned him as one of on your boyfriend list. So the thing is, I love Zuko's character, and I love his story, and I love his backstory, and I really want to know what happens to him later, right? Because he's such an interesting, fascinating character. However, I don't want to date him just because he's got all of that emotional baggage that I'm not sure that I could deal with. Because I just am not emotionally prepared for that sort of thing, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay, I'm reading John Green's novella right now. It's called Zombicorn. It's got a picture of a zombie unicorn on the front, but it has nothing to do with zombies. Check it out, it's free, you should download it, but it's like, kind of like a, you should donate money to charity for it. But it's good. And I'm kind of really enjoying it. There are some inconsistencies that he mentioned, but I like it. It's pretty good, because it's John Green. I mean, it's not as good as nearly as any books, but it's good. You also mentioned that you wanted to get another... Shakespeare play, kind of base plots off of, the, of a Shakespeare play. May I recommend a book that I am also I'm reading to Zombie Corns and I'm reading Taming of the Shrew at the same time. Both really great. But Taming of the Shrew, the thing is, is that it's kind of sexist, but there's also all these different ideas that maybe with some kind of tongue-in-cheek way of Shakespeare to say, you know what, we're treating our women like crap kind of thing. So, I don't know. Do what you will with Taming of the Shrew, but I love it to death. Also, I love that movie based off of it with um, Heath Ledger, Ten Things I Hate About You. Great movie. Great play. Great. I like, the best part about it, I think, is that it starts out with some drunk guy who gets taken home and they're <clears throat> treating him like a noble. And he's like, well, I must be a noble. I must have been crazy thinking I was a drunk. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Um, that's all that's on my list. I, I wanted to discuss more with you about poop being funny. And I think that to a five-year-old, you know, talking about poop is kind of forbidden. But it's kind of like how talking about sex is a little bit forbidden. And that's why adults find sex jokes funny. That's what she said and everything like that. So I think that might have something to do with it. Anyways, I will see you on Wednesday. If we have internet in our new place, which fingers crossed we will, if not, I will text you before that and everything. So, hasta luego! How do I pause this? Pause?